in the championship against a wounded Newcastle, hammered by the humiliating score of five goals to nil the previous week in Brisbane. A test then for the two coaches, John Cosmina and Branko Chulina. At the microphone, Paul Williams. Sydney United have only managed one goal in their three starts so far, yet ironically are the only unbeaten side in the A-League. Robert Trachkowski is injured, so Robbie Markovic, who plays his 201st NSL match, will fill in at right back. Ante Moric, Ante Milicic, Robert Ennis, Paul Bilokopic and Mark Babic were all on Olympic team duty during the week, a real testimony to the club's commitment to developing young players. John Cosmina has put together a side based on Novocastrian talent, but in doing so means his team of novices must find their feet quickly at this level. Ralph Meyer and Andy Roberts in defence and David Lowe in midfield boast over 600 NSL appearances between them. But the other eight have made a total of just 68 appearances in total. Ralph Meyer is calling the shots for the away side tonight in the heart of the Newcastle defence, the number four. Very experienced player. Free kick there. Trying to play it quickly was Popovich. He was the man tripped as well. Forward. Milicic in behind the defence. A nice ball in behind the fullback. Branko Cholina. He's such a positive coach. He was talking before the game about possibly leading the A-League table at the end of the week. A game midweek, home to Brisbane. And today's match at home to Newcastle. If they can win them both, they'll be top of the table. Refuses to push any early panic buttons. Robert Ennis just committing the foul there. Clear foul it was as well. Young Sokaru. Moved to Sydney United from Melbourne SC. ball there to Ante Milicic, a nice ball as well. Moric has gone outside and Milicic! Well, it was hit with real power. And it only just missed the left-hand upright of Craig Carter. Popovic with the long ball forward. Milicic in some space. He cut inside his man and let fly. And you can see there it didn't miss by much. Lock a pitch. Davic. Good peeling off from Milicic again. And a nice ball from Mark Davic to bring him into the game. Popovic forward. Milicic, great move this. The shot comes in. Just past the post again from Ante Milicic. He's waiting to open up his account for the season. And on tonight's performance so far, it doesn't look too far away. Popovic in space. Too much space, perhaps. Starting to get more and more involved, Tony Popovic. kick in a dangerous position 
ideally suited for the natural left footer and there's plenty of those in the Sydney United side Tony Popovich and Tim Warwick even Belokovic might fancy his, fancy his chances we've got four in the wall for Newcastle Popovich over the ball Moritz is there also. Popovic straight into the wall. Ennis with the shot. It's a cross. Milicic hit the bar. Well, nothing going right for Ante Milicic or for Sydney United at this stage. And the break is escape. Here's the free kick. It went straight into the wall, but the danger wasn't cleared, and Milicic had a chance. It was against the bar. <laughs> Given away rather cheaply. Low. Low with the drag back. Zane. Tricky little play from him. Nice play from Newcastle. Sharply takes over in midfield. Out wide is Sanderson. Oh, he almost got a lucky break there, Sanderson, but the locker pitch was covering. Getting forward at every opportunity, Adam Sanderson. by Brown. He was held back at the end by Ennis, though. Forward down the line. Zane did well to use his body there. It was a ball that he didn't really have any right to win. And he's surrounded by red shirts. And it was only a matter of time before one of them pinched possession. Given away by Popovich and Lowe's forward. Still David Lowe, it's opened up for him. Great shot. Is it the opening goal? It is. And it's Jason Bennett again. And Sydney United pay the price for backing off because David Lowe was allowed to run forward there. It all opened up for him. He went past a couple of players. But all of a sudden, he had time to measure a shot. He drilled it, Parosh did well, and Bennett finished it off. Well, credit to the Sydney United goalkeeper for the first save, but he couldn't stop the second, and Newcastle take the lead. Low, down the line, good ball to keep that one in play. Rudan goes back. Not a lot of options on for him. Tries to just play it off Clayton Zane for the throw-in. And Bilokovic takes it back into the danger area. Well, Ante Milicic, he's come close on three occasions in this first half, including the time when he hit the crossbar. <laughs> Sydney United, who have always looked on top here at Edenza Park, find themselves a goal down now. Nice play. This is a better chance for Sydney United. Drillic is there. Again, Newcastle complete the clearance. Bennett. Almost fell for him there. But another opportunity for Sydney United. And Morich is free again on this left-hand side this time. 
Now this defender's back. The ball comes across, it's headed in. Great save by Carter. It was a save he had to make. And Moric did well. He finally got the cross in, and it was Drillich with the header as he was moving backwards, and Carter couldn't take any chances with that one. Milicic, free on the left. That's inside, little chip across, surely the up for equaliser, and it is. It seemed to be only a matter of time before it came for Sydney United. And Mark Rudan is the player. And finally another goal for the home side. That's just their second of the season. A great cross, a clinical header from Rudan, and that's 1-1. There'll be questions asked in that Newcastle defence, though. Where were the defenders? Ball given back to Zane. Still Zane. Well, he doesn't have a problem going past players. But sometimes he must feel like he's on his own a little bit up there. Milicic inside, Moric in space, on the right foot, cuts it on the left. Great save from Carter. And the preferred foot is playing for all to see there. And it was a good shot by Moric. And Carter just tipped it round the post. Kuprasak. The ironic cheers from the home team. The real veteran of Sydney United, Willemir Kuprasak. But a nice move from Moric. He placed it inside that post, and Carter was at full stretch. He's only got one NSL goal to his credit, Ante Moric in almost 50 appearances. Sure, he's looking to improve that strike rate. Great ball forward there for Bennett. Bit of pace here, cuts it across. Zane's on the far post. But the cross wasn't quite in the path of Clayton Zane. There is the half-time whistle here at Edenza Park and a highly entertaining first 45 minutes here. It was a match that Sydney United were expected to dominate and they have done as well. But against the run of play, Jason Bennett opened the scoring for the Breakers after 33 minutes. The reply wasn't long in coming and it was Mark Rudin, unlikely source for a goal perhaps. But Sydney United grateful that he was on the mark just four minutes later. Half-time score here at Edenza Park. Sydney United won, the Newcastle Breakers won. Ennis, the ball inside. Forward run from Robbie Markovac. Can he measure another quality cross? He can, that's a good one as well. And there is Drillich. And in the end, it was tidied up by Sharpley. But again, a quality cross from Robbie Markovac that caused some problems. The cross took the goalkeeper out. It was some hesitant defending from Newcastle. Drillich was doing his best, but sheer weight of numbers.
forward by Hickman. Very tight match over in that part of the field. So many players in such a small area. There's no room to play the ball out. Now it's an opportunity for Meyer. Good ball from him too. Found Sanderson in space on the right-hand side. Goes past a couple. Goes past three. Great run this. Still into the penalty area. And the referee points to the penalty spot. And it's a booking for Babich. And a penalty for Newcastle. And it was a clear foul by Babich there. And there was no hesitation from the referee to award a penalty. Troy Halpin it was on this Maisie run. Babich was the fourth opponent. And now Newcastle have a chance to hit the front again. David Lowe. Five penalty. And it's Newcastle that hits the front. A cool head was called for. And David Lowe was the man who was nominated. The captain's role, of course, and he played it perfectly. And it's Newcastle 2, United 1. Babich, little chip down the line. Roberts, well placed. Moric, nowhere for him to go. Good ball inside. Drillich, nice turn. Ante Milicic. Here's Popovich. Again, an awkward ball for Milicic. Not a lot he could do with that. This is better, Milicic. Still Milicic. The shot came in. Crossbar from Drillich. Great shot there from David Drillich. He whipped it off the toes of his teammate to fire that shot in. And that's twice that the frame of the goal has come between Sydney United and a goal. Newcastle breathe again, and they come forward. Roberts on the left-hand side. Craig Wilson. Cuts inside, still Wilson. Might have fancied his chances there. Alpin, Sanderson. And this is the moment earlier on when Milicic left it. Drillic took over. And it was a great shot, but not good enough to beat the frame of the goal and the goalkeeper. Just over two and a half minutes remaining at Edenza Park. Still the breakers with their noses in front. And still Sydney United coming at them. Markovac does well, comes inside his man. Beats two. Goes past a third. Usage with the cross, pulled back well. Is this the equaliser? It's the post. Oh, great shot. Post again. Unbelievable stuff here. And everyone's on their feet. But it's not Sydney United's night, is it? Paul Batwell. The shot came off the post from Babich there. Don't know how that stayed out. Great volley from Popovich. Again across the goal line. And it was bundled away. Fantastic stuff here at Edenza Park. And if that doesn't go in, you tend to feel that nothing will for Sydney United. Cleared away by Halpin after Babich hit the post. What a volley from Popovich. Carter got a hand to it. And the rest is history. 
Well, you need an ounce of luck, they say. And when you're at the bottom of the table, you tend not to get any at all. But the breakers have had their fair share there. I make that four times tonight that Sydney United have hit the frame of the goal. And Carter's off his line. Good challenge. Legal challenge, more importantly. A very, very firm challenge. But he played the ball. And Newcastle hang on. Babic it was who was through. Carter there. Well, it was a great challenge by him. Babic is back up now, and he just glanced back to the goalkeeper. But he's one of many heroes tonight, Craig Carter. for someone to throw to. Finally, Clayton Zane makes himself available. Trying to win the corner. Can't do that. Hacked away. Babich goes past Roberts, but covering there was Sharpley. And the referee has had enough of Sean Babich. He's been niggling since he came on. And he did well to get past his man. But let's look at that incident again. The incident of the match for sure. Babich hit the post. Was cleared by Halpin. And look at this volley here. Carter, what a save. And it just wouldn't go in, would it? And the arms of the breakers go in the air because they are the victors here tonight. It really is a night for the underdogs. Newcastle win their first match of the season. They were under so much pressure for most of the match from Sydney United, who it has to be said, hit the frame of the goal four times and missed some well and truly clear-cut opportunities. But there's some heroes for the breakers as well. The goal scorer Bennett after 33 minutes, David Lowe with the penalty after 61, and that eventually was the winning goal scored by the captain. Mark Rudan had one in between for Sydney United. But a marvellous performance from the Newcastle Breakers. A win to cherish for John Cosmina's side. Because the final score here is Sydney United 1, the Newcastle Breakers 2. So a shock for Sydney United, but our man of the match as selected. Something out of the game, but we didn't really play that well to, um, you know, we weren't really convincing in general play. So, you know, in the end, we probably deserved at least a draw, but they made two... Um, Serious attacks and they got a penalty and a goal, so well done to Newcastle.